What's up everyone and welcome to this course, welcome to my channel, my name is Claudio. I've got a cool tutorial today to show you how to solve an issue that is part of 3D Max when you're extruding an object and it goes in the complete wrong direction. So this has been an issue that I've had basically since day one and I've been using Max for almost 17 years now. So this is definitely something that is going to solve a lot of issues for you. So I want to show you the differences between the extrude and then the plugin from a company called K Studio called Smart Extrude. So it's actually going to re completely replace the extrude modifier that you have built inside Max because this one is smarter. So let me quickly show you what I've done here. I've got just to make things a bit easier. Everything in the blue color right over there is going to be the normal extrude that comes built in with 3D Max. Everything that is in green, we are going to use the Smart Extrude plugin. So what I want to do first is grab these two guys. Let's isolate and have a look at the difference. The first one over here, you can see it's just a normal rectangle. Let's click the extrude and it's basically which comes built in Max. I'm going to select the green object here. I'm going to go underneath here and choose Smart Extrude. Now, once you've installed the plugin, you automatically get this modifier. Once I click Smart Extrude, again, looks identical. There are a couple of cool features already here. For example, we can go from center when we're extruding. So from the center, wherever the pivot point is, we can actually extrude in both directions, which is pretty cool. And we can rotate it on the X and rotate it on the Y. So those are the two parameters that are new to Smart Extrude. So you'll notice that in the Extrude, we don't have those. But the real power comes in as follows. When you have complex extrusions that you want to do, over here, I've applied the Extrude modifier. Now, it does what it's meant to do. It's extruding everything. But notice that it's in one direction. Even though the oval shapes that I've created over here are facing a completely different direction, Max still sees it as extruding it in one direction. So if we apply a smart extrude like I've done over here, you'll see that it actually extrudes in the direction that it was created in, which is really awesome. So I'm gonna show you a couple of more examples right over here. So again, same concept over there. You can see that it extrudes straight up, whereas the smart extrude goes into its own direction. And then finally, we can have some really complex ones over here. So let's isolate that and have a look. So in this regard, you can see what's actually happened. The extrude function is broken when it comes to these kind of extrusions because it's basically overlapping all the polys and it just looks completely trash. If we look at Smart Extrude right over there, it's taken each object individually and you can see that it is one object. Applying the Smart Extrude, every object technically gets its own extruded modifier. The real power for me, honestly, is as follows. And I'm sure all of you have actually encountered this. Let's just grab a sphere quickly. I'm going to convert this guy to an edible poly. I'm going to go into the edge mode and I'm basically just going to create a shape from selection, which I'm sure everyone's actually done at one point. So create shape from selection. What it's going to do is whatever I've selected in terms of edges, it's going to make a selection of that. So if I move the sphere now, you'll see what I've created. I've basically created a shape from the edges. Now, this is where extrude is broken. If I come into the extrude modifier, so this is the one that's built in 3D Max. If I extrude that, this is the issue that I've had forever with 3D Max. Now, this is a problem because obviously it's extruding in the direction, the Z axis, and that is wrong. That's not what I want. I want it to extrude in the X axis. Now, this is a huge issue because when we are tracing anything from a CAD plan, or perhaps we want to create a shape from an object and then extrude it, this is never going to work. So I'm going to delete this. Actually, let's make a copy of this. So just making a copy, I will delete that extrude. I'm going to go into the Smart Extrude, click, and now you can see the difference. It's extruded in the direction that I wanted, which was the X. So you can see that this right here is a lifesaver. So if you've ever had issues like this where you're trying to extrude something and it goes in the wrong direction, Smart Extrude is going to be the solution for you to basically fix this. So check out K-Studio. Again, the link is in the description. You'll see they have a lot of cool plugins that'll definitely help you in your 3D renders and your workflow. I'll be covering as many as I can here at this course to give you guys a good breakdown of what they can do for you.